Hi folks, here we are working on our combiner box to our carburetor intake system here. I want to go through with you some of what I've got done here before I seal this all up. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like down inside of here. As you can tell we have three pipes coming in there and a fourth one out of the bottom. Uh, this is actually going to be our fresh air mixture. Uh, we do have another fresh air mix here but this is also, uh, you shut this one all the way down if you want to run on Syngas and if you want to run on normal gasoline you just open this back up it'll draw air just like it did before. Uh, so that's our truck uh, shut down open up for standard usage. Now what we're going to do here is I'm going to seal up the top here, that's why I wanted to show you it before I did this. And then we're going to hook up off the bottom here. We're going to hook our one inch flexible hosing and it's going to go through that hole. Possibly you can see this here, I'll zoom in for you. You see that hole in the firewall in the background back there? Uh, there was a plug in that so I went ahead and pulled the plug out of there. And it's the perfect size for a piece of three quarter pipe to just go through right there. So we're going to go ahead and drop flexible hose over to that. We'll have a metal coupler going through the firewall and then up the other side to two valves. Uh, on the inside we're going to have this valve. This will be our main regulation and starting valve. Uh, this will be perfect for that. And then we're going to have a secondary valve for fine tune regulation. Because uh, this is really necessary once you get your system going. You're going to want to fine tune it. And here's what we've got for that. I've got this propane valve right here. Uh, this propane valve allows for a very fine adjustment. So this is going to go in line right before this valve and allow for me once this one's set to get the thing up and running because you got to open it all the way up to get it started. You want to close it almost down. And then while I'm driving on a really fine adjustable airflow change so that I can make it so it's running perfectly. So that's going to be our fine adjustment. It was the best thing I could find. So I'll show you what I've got done there once I get there. Just real quickly here, as you can see, it's just smoke coming up. Uh, we've got one fresh air mix, but this is for, like I said, to make sure the car can still run a normal gasoline. And we've got our bottom intake for fresh air here to mix the smoke. So we'll shut that down. That'll make sure that smoke has to come up, go in that way, draw fresh air in from here, which will all be regulated underneath the steering column inside the dash. So give me a few moments, I'll seal that up, and I'll show you where I'm going from here. All right, folks, we are done with all the stuff we need to do now to get this engine up and running. Tomorrow we'll have a running gasifier truck. Let me take you through what I've done here to uh, get our airflow inside the cab. First of all, this main valve you see, I'm going to try to keep the camera up. Uh, we've got some sun glare. This main valve is our main airflow. When we go to start it, we're going to want a lot of airflow, but right after it starts, we're going to shut that down a bit. And then when we drive down the road, we're going to want to be able to micro adjust this. And these T-handles are not micro adjustable very easy to shut your engine off. So what I've done here is I've put a propane valve in line below that valve here. Uh, this will give me micro adjustability when I'm going down the road. I can actually take that and make sure our airflow is perfect with that valve. Draws the air in that side. You can see the T's going down, goes underneath here to this piece of flexible hosing, one inch hosing through the firewall. The only other thing I've done to be able to run this both on gasoline and on uh, Syngas is that this switch right here goes now to my fuel pump. So now I can shut off my electric fuel pump, uh, make sure there's no gasoline coming into the engine. The other part of it here, let me go ahead and walk you through what we've done. Like I showed you before in the other film, this is our other main airflow valve. So we can open this up, run on gasoline, and that airflow will go right in like it's supposed to. We can also shut this down. And now we've got it so that it's running on our Syngas combiner here, drawing in the fresh air from the bottom, coming in from the cab. There are a regulation system inside. There you can see what I've done. It's a bunch of pipe welds and metal by the exhaust. Just a flexible attachment so I can undo all this. Uh, we've now got it mounted to the air cleaner intake. It's coming through the firewall. This is all sealed up. Everything's ready to go, folks. We are sealed and ready. Uh, one thing I may not have explained in the other video is why I put this on here. What this will allow me to do is not when I'm running the truck, but I can start up the Syngas producer, the reactor in the back. I can undo this cap and I can hook this pipe from here now. It's gone through all my filters and the coolers. I can put that to a generator. I can put that to a chainsaw. I can do whatever can run on Syngas off of that and not be using it only as just for the truck. So that's a real simple way to do that. Just out of the top, put a one inch uh, threaded piece with a cap and that allows us to go ahead and run a generator off it if we want to. So here we are, we're all done, everything's ready to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead tomorrow and put the reactor back in the back. 
we're gonna fire it up and let's go ahead and take a trip down the road on all right well I hope you enjoyed uh, the production and building of this project now that we're done tomorrow's gonna be the big day we're gonna go ahead and fire it up like I said and uh, we'll be rolling down the road on wood so wait until I uh, get that project done and until next time this was Mr. Teslonian and the Teslonian Man Show